What's good YouTube, Maverick here, and today I want to talk about the possibility of the CDL expanding. Coming close to the end of the CDL second season, a thing that people like to talk about is the possibility of a CDL expansion moving the league from 12 teams as it currently is up to maybe 16 teams. What cities would these teams be from? What organizations would buy into the league and how would all of this work? Today, I want to talk about why I think expanding is a good idea, possible orgs and locations for these franchises, and my personal picks for these orgs and franchises and where they would be located. If you wouldn't mind dropping a thumbs up on this video, that'd be great greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can hit three likes on this video. I actually had to do some research for this one in regards to organizations, valuations, locations, all this different stuff to kind of try to put together a realistic list and organizations and franchises I actually could see in the future of the CDL. Starting it off with why expansion is a good idea. Now it's definitely going to be interesting to see if expansion is possible for the CDL. With the whole COVID things, organizations may be hesitant to get into the league because they're not really sure exactly how it's going to run once there's a full year of actual, you know, lands and a real year that doesn't have anything to do with online play. So I personally don't see the league expanding within this coming year. I can see it being maybe two or three years down the line once we actually see a year or two of actual offline CDL play. But that's beside the point for this video. Why I think expansion is a good idea for one you get to target more geographical areas you get to target areas with bigger populations and this of course leads to more fans and more exposure for the league call of duty is one of the most successful franchises worldwide there's players from various countries various backgrounds cultures all over the world that play call of duty and there's also competitive leagues and competitive uh, scenes in a lot of other countries as well targeting these other areas could be really good for the league's growth and also help sustain it throughout the future also, with more teams means more matches during the season, you know, and a lot of COD viewers, people who actually want to view the CDL, like myself and other fans, we personally want to watch more Call of Duty. You know, the more COD there is, you know, the more action, the more competition and the more enjoyable it can be. And my third reason for expansion would be that 16 teams, which is kind of what I'm going off of for this, it's just a better number to work with when it comes to seating and standings and schedules, kind of like how the CWL had with 16 teams. Personally, I think their format was better than the CDLs currently is, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree with that. Um, I think 16 teams, honestly, is just better for the overall format of the league compared to the 12 we have now. Now I want to go into possible organizations to buy into the CDL. So I got together a list here here of organizations from North America, Europe, Asia that I all think could buy into the CDL, which would be interesting and definitely would be cool to see them in it. So in terms of North American teams, for number one, the first org I thought about was E United because E United was such a big part of the CWL and winning that, their world championship. I also could see TSM, maybe Cloud9 or Team Dignitas. In terms of Europe, you have the big organizations that are huge in games like Counter-Strike, Fnatic, NIP, and G2. And then out in the Asian countries, you also have teams like T1 and Gen G that have very big followings over there. All of these teams I could see wanting to get into Call of Duty or have been in Call of Duty in the past and I think have good followings where they could help transfer some of those over to the CDL and help them grow as well. Now, currently in the league, we have five Western teams, five Eastern teams, and two European teams. So pretty fairly balanced overall, but here's some possible locations I came up with for a CDL franchise. So some North American cities, I could see a CDL franchise being based out of, you not necessarily have to have their headquarters there, but just kind of have their city name associated with it, would be Philadelphia, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Boston, St. Louis, or Denver. All those have, you know, big sports teams, have teams in other uh, esports franchise leagues. And I think overall would just be great locations or uh, things to go along with the CDL franchise. We could also see cities like Shanghai, Beijing, or Seoul out in the Asian countries be a part of this. And also Madrid, Barcelona, Berlin, we could see from the European countries, as well as possibly maybe something like Vancouver in Canada. Plenty of cities that you know you could introduce into the league. And I think it's important for the league to go worldwide, considering this is a video game. And I think you know it has the reach and it has that kind of exposure to be a worldwide league. But now finally, I want to go into my picks for my four expansion team. For this, I went with one East Coast team, one West Coast team, one European team, and one Asian team. So I tried to, you know, kind of cover the whole, the whole board and really give the league some more reach and some more exposure. 
Starting it off with my Eastern team, my East Coast team, we see Dignitas coming in as the Philadelphia Dignity. So I even came up with the names for these teams. You know, I went that extra mile. The Philadelphia Dignity would be owned by Team Dignitas, who are based out of Newark, New Jersey. I believe they also have some other locations, but I, their head kind of headquarters is in Newark, New Jersey. They were actually acquired by the Philadelphia 76ers NBA team back in 2016. Hence the reason I went with them to be based out of Philly. They have 267,000 Twitter followers, and they just recently, two years ago in 2019, got a 30 million in funding. So this team definitely has the reach and possibly the funding for a CDL buy-in. Uh, it would be interesting to see if they could do it because they just got 30 million in funding. I'm not sure if they can get like another 30 million in funding to buy into the CDL now, just two years later. But, you know, just for the sake of this video, I'm going with Dignitas. The reason I picked the Philadelphia Dignity is Dignity by definition means the state or quality of being worthy or honor of respect um all the philadelphia sports teams you know you have the eagles the 76ers the phillies the union all these teams have names kind of related to freedom and independence and have to go back to you know the u.s uh united states history um so i thought dignity kind of went along that lines a bit and honestly just sound good because it's a dignitas dignity it kind of keeps that name sort of correlated now for my west coast team i have tsm coming in as tsm las vegas they could maybe have to be TSM FTX, FTX Las Vegas with their whole new partnership. I'm not really sure. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call them TSM Las Vegas. As we all know, TSM is one of the biggest organizations in the world. I believe they are the most valued organization in esports at a 410 million valuation by Forbes as of last year. And they have 2.1 million Twitter followers. So definitely a huge organization. With this name, I went with the similarity of, you know, Optic Chicago, Atlanta Phase, LA Thieves. I believe TSM would kind of want to keep their name name especially with how big they are I think it would be really important for them to do that plus I could see TSM definitely having the money they claim they're a profitable esports organization so they're not even losing money by year so if any organization they could be one to buy into a franchise league next up we head over to Europe where I have NIP ninjas in pajamas coming in as the Stockholm ninjas NIP is based out of Sweden Stockholm Sweden hence the Stockholm ninjas they have 579,000 Twitter followers and a, they had a 12.5 million valuation out of 2016 um definitely has to be increased since that was five years ago and they're definitely one of the more prestigious esports organizations out in europe and i could see it being no problem for them to raise funding or to get sponsorships for a call of duty league buy-in similarly to you know the thing i said with tsm i think it would be good for them to kind of keep you know similar to their name with the ninjas but like i said they're one of the biggest and most popular organizations out in europe and i could see them coming in like this i I could also see Fnatic or, you know, G2 coming in, but I wanted to pick Ninjas in Pajamas because I thought it'd be more interesting. Um, and I thought it'd be a little different to throw in a team from Sweden rather than going with some team from like, let's say Spain or Germany. And last but not least, and I think this is the most important one would be my pick for an Asian team coming out of China. We have Gen G with the Shanghai Pandas. The reason I went with Pandas is because the giant panda is the national animal of China. So I thought it kind of fit. Um, and I thought that would be pretty cool since a lot of, you know, sports teams tend to go with those animal names. Um, I think Shanghai Pandas works well. And the reason I picked Gen G is for one, you know, they have almost 100,000 Twitter followers, but they are the sixth most valued esports organization as of 2020 from Forbes. $185 million valuation. Definitely a big organization that's on the come up and continues to rise each year. And, you know, with their association, they have locations out in Santa Monica, California, Shanghai, China, and Seoul and South. Korea so they have a lot of exposure across North America and Asia and I could see them coming in with this Shanghai team so yeah that kind of does it for my recap you know we have Dignitas coming in as the Philadelphia Dignity we have TSM coming in as TSM Las Vegas we have NIP coming in as the Stockholm Ninjas and we have Gen G coming in as the Shanghai Pandas I think all these teams are realistic will they happen probably not but I could see it happening in some world where the CDL expands and these organizations are interested Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate you watching through to this point. This was super fun to make. It's it's fun to kind of like IDIs and like kind of just like come up with different things and be creative with this. Um, so if you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more Call of Duty League content. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next video.